The lymphatic anatomy of the neck is complicated. Traditionally, the neck is divided into five zones. However, it is important when examining the skin cancer metastasis not to forget the preauricular, retroauricular, parotid, and occipital nodes. The preauricular nodes are located anterior to the root of the helix and the tragus. The majority of the parotid nodes are located in the tail of the parotid adjacent to the angle of the jaw and the lobule of the pinna. The level 1 nodes include those found in the submandibular and submental regions. The lymph nodes of levels 2, 3 and 4 form the deep cervical chain and are located from superior to inferior deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The level 5 nodes are located in a triangle formed by the clavicle inferiorly, the posterior border of sternocleidomastoid anteriorly and the lateral border of trapezius muscle posteriorly. This is a common place for skin cancer metastases so it is important to examine it carefully. Tumours of the posterior scalp are at high risk of metastasizing to the occipital and retroauricular lymph nodes. An examination of the lymph nodes of the head and neck will now be demonstrated. With the fingers flat, the preauricular and parotid lymph nodes are palpated. Next, the lymph nodes in the tail of the parotid are examined by performing a gentle pinching movement between the index and thumb as shown. The level 1 nodes are then palpated under the jawline to the chin. Next, the patient's head is turned to the opposite side and the head is then inclined by moving the ear towards the shoulder on the ipsilateral side. This manoeuvre produces laxity of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, facilitating palpation of the deep cervical chain. The examiner then turns their attention to the level 5 nodes, moving in a superior fashion towards the occipital and finally the retroauricular lymph nodes. Small circular motions are made while pressing firmly. Suspicious masses underneath the fingers are located deep to the skin. Usually they are entirely painless. Normal lymph nodes in this area are also large and can often be felt in thin or male patients. Small shotty lymph nodes are common in children or individuals who have recently had a viral illness. If there is any uncertainty between abnormal and normal lymph nodes then the best test is often to feel the opposite side.